Hello everyone, and today we play Dagenham away. It's great to see many fans making the trip down. Unfortunately, I cannot attend that game today. A few things have happened, thought I was going to go on last minute, my fridge has decided to break. So it's being queued away for me today. Hip hip hooray. It's only a month ago since we last played Dagenham and beat them 4-2. So hopefully that victory will be fresh within the player's mind. I went to Dagenham in 2010 when we beat them 1-0 in the league. A debut goal from A.D. White on that day it was a good away trip. I remember it because there was no tubes. Got off at Dagenham East, had to walk through this estate. I'm asking this West Ham fan, he's like, oh, fuck it West Ham, mate, mate, just give me directions to the ground, please. Me and a few lads, Chris Hill, Pistol Pete, stayed over um, in this dodgy B&B. And when I went to check in at night, later on, sleep after the piss, they'd give me the wrong key and I ended up sleeping in the back of the car for two hours until they let me in. One on a way trip, I miss days like that. So, Eastley, last week, well, it was a good day out. Cheers to Adam for driving. Good day with Keisty. Nothing really to shout about. The ground was in the middle of nowhere. A couple of good pubs before on the cricketers. Uh, nice talking to Paolo, a Deportivo La Coruna fan in the third division now, but in the 90s, with a big team in Spain, a famous comeback against Team Milan. He was impressed that I knew with him. And Bin Man and Phil Lou at the game were actually watching them last week. But the ground against the middle of nowhere, the stadium reminded me like if it's screwed, like it'd been built by screw fix. The chicken bowl to pie, though. Thumbs up to out of 10. Best pie I've had in a long time. Definitely the best pie in the National League. And then nachos what mega as well. But the game itself, dull, poor, lacked urgency, intensity. It felt like one of them end of season games where nothing was to play for, despite easily occupying a playoff place. And like Boron Wood, I think it's a case of the teams from third to six are just basically now just getting results without playing football, just to stay in there. I felt we left it too late for such so had Abram on and Green on early, a bit of pace. Sutton has took some stick. It wasn't his best game, but one, he's out of position. Two, he's a young lad and he's still learning. He's going to have games like that. He'll improve. If it was regular occurrence, they can understand people and getting on his back. But for me, it's one of those. It's a learning process for him. The game could have been better. I wish it was better. It was raining. But you know what? I'm not going to say a bad day at the office, but... I'm not going to turn around and go absolutely mad because there's no need to. It's just frustrating is the word to use. We had a good following there. Good to see young Ellis Rat celebrate his 17th birthday and his dad there with Mandy to his dad's girlfriend Emma and see more of your Oldham games now. To be honest, we've turned you into an Oldham fan or has it just been a City fan knowing you're going to get deducted points, stripped to titles, you're just trying to get used to what life is going to be like in the National League. It ain't pretty. Back to today's game, and again, I said it was not long ago we played Dagenham. We've just signed a player on loan, Salo, Salu, whatever he's, he's pronounced, I think. Obviously, people are going to laugh at me for saying it that. I've not actually heard it pronounced yet, so next week I'll get it right. And you know me, I'm a genius at pronouncing names wrong. Read out for the season. I spoke to a few crew, crew fans, I know. His stats don't look good. They've not rated him much. They say there's a lot of running. But for me, Fondop was written off last year. Yeah, they was. Let's see what happens. It could prove to be a gem. It could prove not to be. We've had enough players over the years to know whether to get high hopes up and get excited or to just think he's back in the island of misfortunate old MFC players that we like to forget about. Who knows? Um, another good thing this week was about the announcement with the rugby. A few months ago, I was wary about him coming back. I actually, they asked a question to Frank the one time I met him. But the fact they're playing on this new like synthetic Fibrotic pitch, York have one, Stockport have one, Tremere have one. By all accounts, these pitches are good. It's not just football, we can use it for events all year round, which can generate only extra money for the club. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of rugby, I'm not the biggest fan of rugby league. My dad was a staunch roughy head. I did go myself when I was younger a bit, I went to Sheddings a few times, a few times at Boundary Park. I fell out with rugby league more, the organisation and some of the fans always blaming football for their own failure. But for me, it's important to have a good sporting town sporting teams but towns like Oldham on the map yeah I look at that league Oldham rugby are in and there's not many away support maybe Dewsbury I think they're in it what someone saw me Rochdale if they're getting that championship this year you like to Bradford are there fair play there'll be a few more fans but 
Let's give it a go. There's a fans forum next week. If you haven't got a ticket, get one if you can. People say to me, oh, well, what they've got things you want to say to club owners. If it's on sale, go for it. I can't attend, but how many, often in the past have we heard of these so-called non-existent fan forums or where fans have been hand-picked or part of a click? I've done a few in my past. People say, oh, do you know about these things? Well, do you know what? It's publicly knowledge. You want to go, you've got something to say, here's your chance, go for it. Don't just sit around and say, well, I didn't know. It's publicly, it's been publicised. Wrexham tickets are on sale to season ticket holders. If you've not got one, I get one quick because they will be snapped up. It's going to be a good European away day. We all like a trip to Europe, even if it is only Wales. And on that note, I've not really got much, much more to say. I'm just shattered after my shift. Um, let's just hope for a win today. I'm not going to make any predictions because yet again, it's that inconsistency win. We lose. We just get the win. Just go out there. Shout the lads on. With the Oasis lads, I reckon they'll be about, again, around the 400 mark. And enjoy yourselves and bring home the points. Save trips to everyone who's down there. Come on, Alden.